Hi there. Welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. Today I'd like to show you how to make an interactive busy box card. I designed this card for my two and a half year old granddaughter and I wanted to make something that was really sturdy but interactive and fun. She likes things like yellow crayons and birds and flowers but I also wanted to include elements that would be tactile. So I did things like Shiny Bumpy, which I just simply made out of a uh, aluminum can that I cut a piece off of and ran it through my embossing folder. It also has other components like a foam heart, wiggly eyes, which I called silly eyes on the label, funny face, it has a um, rough one right there that feels like it's sandpaper is what it is. Um, so she have the tactile there, a glittery butterfly, there's a brown rabbit, um, I took a piece of fabric and made a soft thing for her to touch, and there's a little pig with googly eyes. So basically I made it very sturdy for her so that she could play with it and it shouldn't fall apart. I decided to make another one and bring you along for the fun. I'm using a die from the Share the Joy special that's only available until July 31st. And I cut out a white, a black, an orange, and I saved all the dots from those. And I'll show you what we do with those as we go. I also have some paper from last year's Close to My Heart Halloween collection. Some baker's twine, some adhesive, a shimmer brush, scissors, foam tape, and some white daisy pigment. The very first thing I want to do is get that white daisy pigment on my black cardstock. All the measurements will be listed below in the comment sections and again on my blog at www.papergluefun.com. The reason I want to get this part done first is it will give it a chance to dry well while I work on the rest of the card. I wanted just a sponge effect, so I have just a coarse sponge that I'm using. And I just dab it and then dab it onto that black. This serves two purposes. One, it looks really cool and that kind of ghostly effect which I'm going for with Halloween, right? And the other thing is it will give me an idea where my work area is when I get ready to put the stickers on because I've decided for this card rather than have a big variety of things in the busy box windows I'm going to just put some Halloween stickers that I had in my stash um, that are fun to look at for her. Once that's on there, then I'm going to set that aside and give it an opportunity to dry and hopefully not smear it in the process. Okay, next I want to build my actual uh, base part of this card. And again, I wanted something that was going to be sturdy, and that's why I used baker's twine instead of using something like paper hinges on this because a two and a half year old in their enthusiasm can be rather rough with things. So I'm just taking my white piece and I'm adding my white dots back in. They're going to be the center part of the door. I'll have another piece of pattern paper on each side of those, but for right now that's the first part I do. I take my adhesive, run it from the stitch line to the center of the circle and back, basically creating a giant zigzag pattern. I find by doing this it gives the door the best ability to do open all the way and it can even you can kind of snap it to stay open um, if you want to leave it open or it will close real easily. I just lay on that baker's twine right over that adhesive in that same zigzag pattern. I use my weeding tool to hold that down so I get a nice sharp turn. But you could use, you know, anything that you have that's that's sharp like that, a pen, or you know, that's not got ink in it, um, an awl or something like that. Basically, I just want to create that zigzag pattern across there. And it really doesn't matter what color of baker's twine you used. I happen to be using my beige white one. Um, I could have used any color. I probably should have used a brighter color to show up on the camera better. Um, but it, it's going to be all covered up, so you're not going to see it when the card is completed. And I just simply do this again for all four of the rows. Um, I did 
also like decided to go ahead and put the cover across there so I wouldn't get my hand in the glue <laughs> kind of as a protective mechanism so I went ahead and put the little cover on each of those and you'll see me all throughout this video constantly checking to make sure that I'm not gluing my little doors shut um, poking them up feeling around making sure that they still open and double checking that all throughout the building of the card I find that this uh, baker's twine is sturdy you can pick the whole card up by that little door once it's dry and so that worked out really well and I would like it here in the comments you know let me know in the comments below what other ideas you'd have Valentine's card Christmas cards birthday cards you can put anything that you want behind there make it a lot of fun and like I said I'm going to use stickers for this card but I could just as easily have done stamping or you know more busy box things like ribbon or you know anything tactile especially if it's for a child I was thinking it'd be really pretty to do an anniversary one and maybe do pressed flowers um, in each under each of the doors but again always checking to make sure that I'm not accidentally gluing any of my little doors shut once I feel good about that I'm going to cover up the rest of the baker's twine using some of the black paper from the mix-in paper packet out of the current Close to My Heart idea book. I'm making sure I have my adhesive all the way around there nice and good. And I even go back and make sure that all of my Baker's Twine has at least a little bit of adhesive on it. That just helps bond those fibers in with the paper better so that it all holds together and can be toddler handled a little bit easier that's my term for it rather than manhandle it we toddle toddler handle it <laughs> one of the fun things about close to my heart pattern papers is they have a pattern on both sides so for the outside part that will show here I'm using the black with the white lines straight down it but then to reinforce the inside of the doors each of the little flaps I'll use the heart side and that'll give it a different look and different texture but again, making sure that that's really secured well and that, so that it won't pull out when you open the little doors. Okay, so now I'm just going back, like I said, and take the other side of that cut out with the, little, the black with the little white hearts and adding that. That adds some heft to the doors, makes them so they don't bend very easily because at this point now it's the cardstock in the middle with the two pattern papers on you know one on each side I think I'm probably going to do a Christmas one um, but I can't figure out if I can get little if I maybe double foam tape it maybe I could get little goodies in there or not it'll be a fun experiment this is a really fun die set and I'm seeing a lot of close to my heart consultants using it and uh, I think this is just has such versatility. It's a it's a really fun design. I'll be attaching this to a, a piece of black cardstock. That piece that we did the sponging on. And then that will go on top of a A2 card base that I made out of the white daisy card stock. So all in all, this is a pretty solid card. Um, but it's also, because it's interactive, you want it to be pretty solid. By looking at each opposite corner there, I can tell if I'm lined up. Now again, I'm just using some stickers I had in my stash. I have lots of stickers at my in my craft room because my little one like stickers and I like to have them around so if she wants to stick them onto things she can but I had some Halloween ones that I just put in there and like I said um, I used foam tape to attach it so that the doors would be able to open easily has gives it a little bit of height And again, because I am making this for a two and a half year old, I put a lot of foam tape on there. In fact, it's this thing will not fall apart, I don't think, even if it gets, you know, dropped across the room.
It's real easy to line up with the opposite corners of your little dots. You know that if those match up, then the whole thing's pretty much going to match up. And I attach that, making sure again all my little doors are still opening, that I didn't accidentally glue anything. My camera was giving me fits. You may notice I keep cutting out here. That's okay. It would turn itself off. And it, sometimes I didn't even realize it. Okay, so all my little doors are working. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my base card. I just used some two-sided tape for this. I could have used a liquid adhesive. I could have used Rangers. Um, permanent adhesive. This is just what I had right within reach there, and it's fast and easy. And when I'm making these videos, I want to make sure not to take up your time too much, so I try to do the quick things. You might notice that when I attach that to my base card, I got it a little tiny bit off centered, and then my my camera shut itself off, but and I didn't realize it, but I did trim that um, to take that white off. Then I'm using my shimmer brush to add a little bit of ghostly shimmer at the top of that cardstock that shows around the edge, just to add a little bit more to it. And then I'm going to use that last year's release of uh, the Halloween paper from Close to My Heart that had the little words printed on there and I had just fussy cut out some of the words off of it and I'm kind of messing around with where to put those words to get my colors where I want them or what I want to do here as it turned out my camera shut itself off and I didn't know this time that I didn't hear the little beep that it had gone off and so I had just kept working without realizing the camera wasn't on. So voila, you're going to see all of a sudden that all the words are magically on, as well are some little uh, embellishment jewels, orange jewels that I had in my stash. I stuck one little jewel in each of the uh, pockets, or each of the little, under each of the little doors, because I thought it was just kind of a fun little added surprise to see in there. And that's pretty much my card. Again, I would love to hear from you what you think we could do with this design. And leave me some comments below. If you like these videos, please be sure to hit the like button. And it really lets me know to keep going with them when you subscribe. So thank you for watching.